guest is a Tony Award-winning actor. He can currently be seen on Broadway in The Producers and on the hit ABC series Desperate Housewives. Please welcome Roger Bart. <laughs> Now, Fantastic. let me ask you something. You've had many, many years of experience on stage yeah. doing Broadway, and then you're on this show, Desperate Housewives, yeah. and that must be a whole other kind of experience. Yeah, Is that right? completely, completely. Not only in terms of the, just the, uh, the, the medium itself, but also the, the sudden, intense exposure. Yeah. Now, people are, uh, they're not just enthusiastic about that show. There's like a mania yeah, about that show. Right? Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. No, yeah. every, everywhere I, I go now, people uh, avert their eyes in horror. <laughs> of, I don't know of, what of that means. Part. Well, it means like I play a very creepy pharmacist. Who right, was, right. Uh, who did some, some bad things at the end of the season. So people equate you with that guy. They can't separate. Right, right. So even though they feel compelled to come up and introduce themselves, they're slightly afraid I'll slip them something. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Which is nice. And what, yeah. and, but people must be excited to meet just, you know, literally anybody from that show. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It, yeah. it is. It's, a, it's, been, it's been a phenomenon. As a right. matter of fact, I, I uh, went to uh, uh, my daughter. We were checking out a new school recently. and. And uh, we were walking through the elementary school, and uh, I saw a third grade little boy just look at me and go. And I thought, oh my gosh, he's in third grade. I can't believe you're up there. First of all, you're up that late, but you're right. watching Desperate Housewives. And of course, then suddenly I was ambushed by about 25 of them. Of course, the first thing out of their mouths was, oh, you, you, what is it like? And I said, what? He says, knowing Eva Longoria. <laughs> <laughs> Really? She was third, another one. Yes, yeah, said, are you the gardener? Grade. And I said, yes, I am. Right, right. Yeah. Occasionally, I meet, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, kids that are like in fourth grade or something that watch, and they say they watch my show every night. Yeah, and I that, think, right? you, what? what? That's what not that? right. I know. And they're, you know, I'm happy. I'm like, keep watching and <laughs> yeah, so, have some coffee. And yeah, <laughs> know, that's amazing. Get other small children watching, <laughs> uh, but it's not right. Now, you mentioned uh, your daughter. You're such a busy guy. Do you get to spend much time with your daughter? You get yeah, to have yeah, quality we, time? We do have quality time. I was, uh, <laughs> we... I was giving her a, a, a bath the other night, uh, and uh, I had ordered. Uh, she's four and a half. She's right. not seventeen. And uh, <laughs> giving her a bath. Thanks for straightening yeah, that out. Yeah, sure yeah. It was clear. But I was giving her a bath the other night, and we were. Uh, so I had ordered a pizza to be delivered, and I was. We had a little plastic toys. So we sort of throw in there, and little animals and whatnot. And so we had a little lion. I said, "Well, be careful. You know, lions aren't that great a swimmer." And so we, should, we were starting to kind of animate the lion and say, "You know, help me, help me. I'm, I'm in trouble. Please help me." Right. And suddenly uh, the door. The door rang, and I realized that the pizza guy was at the door. And I said, "Now listen, you—you you have to stop saying that. Please stop saying that now." She's like, "Help me, please, the man, please! Oh my God, help me!" And sure enough, you know, I'm the pizza guy comes to the door. And he goes, "You know, that'll be fourteen dollars." And it seems to be a sudden, you know, a little bit of a quiet. Then suddenly, please help me! <laughs> I'm coming from screaming from yeah. upstairs. You the know, pizza guy doesn't care. Yeah, the pizza guy's like, "Just yeah. pay me my money, and I'll go." <laughs> yeah, get out. It's all get back her. to your murdering. Uh, <laughs> I've got four other pizzas to deliver. <laughs> now you had an interesting experience. You, of course, you've 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 been in so many uh, so many productions, stage, movies. You were directed by Frank Oz, yeah. uh, who famously uh, plays Yoda. That's right. What was it like being directed by Yoda? Oh, it was it was it often sounded very familiar. He was also the uh, uh, the voice of Miss Piggy. Right. And so one of the one of the uh, great highlights of uh, of being on the set was trying to encourage him, uh, much to his chagrin, to do uh, uh, Miss Piggy and Yoda having sex. <laughs> you were he trying to get do. him to do that? Yeah, so he'd say things like, you know, no, please, uh, you know, put it inside me, Yoda, you know. And... <laughs> say, stick it inside me, I must, you know, or you would never, he would never. He I would... like his sentence structure. It goes yeah, well no, with everything, yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. It's very corny, yeah. But he never would, you know, Frank would always uh, vehemently refuse, but he would say, you know, it takes so long for me to get into character. Right. So. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Whenever he talks, he is, he does sound exactly yeah. like Kermit. Yeah, you know? totally right. Now, um, you play uh, mm. in The Producers, which is also a phenomenon. You play mm. Carmen Ghia yeah. in that show. Yeah. And uh, such an over-the-top, flamboyant character. Do you enjoy playing a character that's almost that much of a, it's almost a cartoon? It must oh, be fun. Yeah, it was a thrill. You know, uh, Mel Brooks's world was such a great place for a lot, all those characters in his shows and his movies were, uh, were so uh, way over the top. And so it's, it's been fun. Uh, he, this particular character is an extremely effete guy. Uh, and I've done all sorts of kind of crazy characters. I, I won a Tony Award for playing a dog, for playing Snoopy. You played Snoopy, that's yeah. right, in but Good I, Man I, Charlie Brown, right. yeah. But I played him by. Which was interesting. <laughs> that's, that's how you did Snoopy? Yeah. Confused probably, about I his sexuality? Possibly glean the award for that. Yeah. <laughs> People like that. Yeah. They like when you bring something. <laughs> exactly. Now, talk about special achievements. You 
I'm told, can play music on your cheeks. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, yeah. One of the I have a, a, so a couple people have been great influences on me. One, which is not really as a person, but Daffy Duck, and another was Fritz Feld, who you may remember from old sort of Lucille Ball Fritz shows. Feld, yeah, yeah. He used to he show used up to do in stuff like old he would click his, That's right. That's right. He was sort of go like this and seat table stuff like that. Right. So I, I kind of came up with a way of making a similar noise and play songs. I could play Beethoven, as a matter of fact. Can we hear a little Beethoven? Oh, yeah, sure. Right. And you know, I'm so That's handsome. That's really good. Yeah. Really... <laughs> Not bad, huh? Any, uh... Everyone watching who's hearing impaired thinks you're choking to death. <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, what else do you know? Do you know like pop, like pop music? Oh yeah, yeah. You got any Beatles tunes? And you have any ideas? You know, uh, Penny Lane. You Penny, Penny Lane would be great. Yeah. Penny Lane. Let's see. Let me see. Exciting. You realize as you do it, you look insane. Yeah, you know? I know, I know. It's like it's sort of the panic in my eyes. <laughs> You've got to try and calm right, yourself. Right. Wow. All right. Well, yeah. Desperate Housewives, of course, returns this fall, and it's good that I'm getting the word out about that. Mm. And uh, the producers is at the St. James Theater in New York yeah. City, and it's good I'm getting the word out about yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Continued success to you. Uh, Thanks thank for doing you. it. Good, good man. Watch your part, everybody. We'll take a break. John Pizzarelli when we come back.